The James Webb Space Telescope is intended to support astronomers around the world to investigate what are the first stars that formed after the Big Bang, how did the galaxies grow, and how is it that solar systems form and evolve so that they can support life like what we have here on Earth. The Hubble primary mirror is 10 times heavier than the mirrors that we're using on Webb. So a big difference between Hubble and Webb is Hubble was based on a single monolithic mirror that was fairly heavy. James Webb has 18 primary mirror segments, and they're in the shape of a hexagon, which, once fully assembled, creates the shape of a larger hexagon. How do you fit a six and a half meter diameter telescope in a rocket that's less than five meters? And so we actually fold up the two wings of the primary mirror each that we can fit in the rocket. The two wings will unfold, but all 18 mirrors actually have to deploy once we're in space. The mirrors themselves are made out of beryllium, which is a really lightweight, strong metal that holds its shape under severe temperature changes. And that's really important for this telescope. Obviously, we have to build it here on Earth, uh, but when we launch it into deep space, it's going to go through this extreme temperature change as it gets out to the very cold part of space where we're putting it. About six months or so after we've launched and we start getting images back, I think a wow moment for me will be not just being able to see those first galaxy formations, see the, the first planets that were formed, but actually have a very high resolution look at our own solar system. I'm convinced that the Webb Telescope will tell us things that we haven't even dreamed up yet.